Response monitoring in myeloma is uh, quite critical. It is not uh, too difficult uh, at the beginning when you have all the measures available, uh, when the patient starts therapy, because there is a correlation between um, a tumor cell mass and paraprotein production in almost all patients, with, with the exception of those who are low or non-secretors. That is very difficult. But otherwise, uh, there is this close correlation. So you monitor uh, paraprotein levels. Um, you mo monitor, of course, other laboratory uh, levels. And you may monitor proteinuria in patients with light chain proteinuria. But uh, what is critical here with, uh, in, in a number of patients after long-standing disease, that there is um, um, an uh, uncoupling between uh, tumor cell proliferation and protein, paraprotein production by individual tumor cells. So sometimes the situation may, may occur that yeah, when you look at the paraprotein or the protein status, that uh, you think that patient is well under control. Uh, and that may be misleading because um, of the uh, phenomenon I just explained, because this increasing day differentiation of the tumor cell, the capacity of the tumor cell of the myeloma cell to produce uh, paraproteins um, is uh, reduced and, and may even um, be um, completely um, um, abolished. So, uh, so you may feel um, uh, when you look at the re results, you may uh, assume the patient is um, well controlled, but actually the patient has progressive can have progressive disease, and uh, uh, clinicians uh, must uh, be alerted that this is. Uh, a phenomenon uh, which occurs after uh, long-standing disease. It makes also uh, uh, pro uh, the evaluation of progressive disease um, in those patients with five, six, or ten previous treatment lines uh, more complex because of the because some of those patients um, have not adequate paraprotein production anymore, but our um, parameter for definition of progression are based on uh, mainly based on changes in paraprotein production. So, um, so the clinician may um, say that the patient is progressing, but he does or he or she do not fulfill the definition of progress um, when when it comes to paraprotein levels. So then the clinician has to be uh, to look at other parameters of progression like uh, uh, bone lesions uh, but, um, and, and see whether there is progression in bone lesions and so on. But that is a problem um, um, in this uh, patient in the studies uh, with long-standing disease. And actually we have shown, we looked at quality of life in those patients. And uh, uh, what you see is when you measure quality of life in patients with progressive disease, you see already a decrease in uh, several parameters, uh, several items of quality of life, two to three or four months before the definition of progression is met. So that is something which is important for the clinical community and for the patient as well, because the patient is suffering from progressive disease. But uh, when the patient is in a study, he cannot be switched to another one unless he fulfills this criteria. That is a, another point which I raised during our discussions.